Mr. Edogawa's TV classroom. Oh boy, part six! Guess who's back? Back again. Conan's back. Tell a friend. Uh, hey there everyone, it's time for Mr. Edogawa's TV classroom. <laughs> you know, it's funny seeing me not in the TV classroom is just weird. It was like the weirdest thing ever. Anyways, whoa man. Everyone loves Jun uh, George of the Jun Jumanji Psychology. An invitation to the you that you don't know. Whoa. I know you, and you, and you, but I don't know me. Bum bum bum. Alright. This will be our sixth lecture. We're at the halfway point. Today's title is, is Personas and Social Links. What kind of guy is this archetype? The Persona. Deep within our minds lies the collective unconscious shared by all mankind. It is made up of the basic archetypes. I want to introduce another of these archetypes to you in this lesson. So pay attention, class. Now that I've already taught the other class, I know how shitty your class is. So, uh, you guys gotta sharpen up. That class was awesome. Last time we discussed the shadow. This time it's the persona. The title kind of gave that away, didn't it? <laughs> uh, now, let's begin this lesson. Abracadabra, Alakazam! By the way, does anybody have a Haunter? Because I would really like to get my Alakazam, and I just, I don't have any friends that play Pokemon. The not so common word Persona comes from the Latin word for mask. Oh, by the way, Sun and Moon hype! Of course, this video is going to be coming out way after the announcement came out. But if I'm quick, I might get this video out before the actual games come out. I don't know. I don't know when they're coming out. But yeah, the Sun and Moon just got announced a few days back. Anyways. Of course, in this day and age, I doubt there are many people who actually use a mask in their day-to-day -day lives. They're mostly seen as works of art, used as interior decor, oh, and parts of costumes, of course, of the cosplay. That's about it. I cuss in my place all the time. In order to understand the personal archetype, we first need to grasp the idea of how masks were first used. Masks were commonly used in plays, festivals, and religious ceremonies. They were all used to play roles. The Persona archetype's name comes from the role-playing aspect, like a role-playing game! Get it? <laughs> and not a role-playing as in dice, a role-playing as in role. <laughs> that's the bit, that's what I've always thought of as the difference. The role-playing game with the dice is what the common role-playing game is, where there's almost no choices and it's just random number generators, but where you're actually going into a role and get to pick a lot of ch choices, that's the classic role-playing game. It's just, they kind of had to use the numbers to make the classic ones work and not be stupid, and then the numbers just kind of took off, and now everything's numbers, and it's like, oh, it's a role-playing game! That's not what makes it a role-playing game! Anyways. <laughs> I guess I could think of it as dice-playing game. I don't know. Anyways. Uh, George of the Jumanji found an archetype that played roles and named it the Persona. Masks were always used as costumes. I guess that one use has remained throughout the ages. Now thinking carefully, what exactly is this ability to play a role that the mind has had since birth? Let's think about it. An actor wearing a mask plays his role in order for the play to progress. So in the case of a non-actor, someone playing a role will progress. And here comes a question. Alright, I ask thee. Ooh, fancy words. Alright, Timothy. What exactly progresses when a person plays a role in everyday life? Society? Well, I mean, time does progress, but... Uh, society? Society, huh? That's something of an all-encompassing answer, don't you think? That's all correct, not bad. Ha-ha! <laughs> all-encompassing answers for the win! When in doubt, be vague! I could have gotten there, Mr. Edogawa. Shut up, Timothy. Renegade answered first. Wait, Renegade, why are you still in my class? When a person plays a role in life, society moves forward. I mean, I don't mind. You're better than any of my students. My shitheads. Like Timothy. Oh. The society exists because people don't do what they please. Instead, they split roles amongst themselves. In other words, there are people enacting roles on the world stage. Oh. We play the parts of ourselves to make up societal. This ability to play a role in society is the persona archetype. Lakatatata. Ratatatata. The persona is a mask your ego wears. It plays a role in social interaction. It is a mediator between you and others. <laughs> yeah, those are the classic masks. The happy face, the angry face, the nerd face, and the Mario face. <laughs> the human mind is not a standalone piece, but exists as part of a network. 
I spoke before about how human minds are linked through the collective unconsciousness. The persona is a prime example of this. Every individual has the persona, which functions when interacting with others in society since birth. So you see, the persona is an archetype that's based on the premise that the human mind is collective. I might be getting technical, but due to this property, the persona is often known as the social archetype. Them social links! Oh god. Sorry, it's, it's only the start of the recording session and I've already spilled water on myself. Well, I'm not going to change right now. Screw it! Okay, now when I say humans have an innate ability to connect with others, it makes the persona sound epic, but in actuality, it's kind of long and grindy battles you get thrown into. Maybe if you were on normal mode, it wouldn't be as bad. Renegade? Well, I wanted a challenge! Don't blame me! <laughs> eh. On the other hand, this presents a problem to people, especially you young ones. Dummies who thinks that games are too easy now, you hip youngsters. Wait, actually, it's the other way around. Anyways, we're able to smoothly engage in society by using the power of our personas to become someone else. By the way, you little shithead who thinks games are too easy, back in my day, our games were hopscotch. And that shit was, was hard because, I mean, if the other person didn't want to give up, you just had to keep going and, and going, and then the game never ended. Nowadays, we have rules and shit. Thank for the rule. I, I don't know where I'm going. That also means the society doesn't necessarily need you, so long as there's just someone to fill the role you play. That's harsh. Persona, then, is the denial of the will to live as your true self. It teaches you how to become someone else that isn't you, so that you can survive in societal. Persona acts as a mediator between your inner self and the outside world. When young people first enter society, many of them ask themselves, What does it mean to be me? Here is when the ego and the persona act in opposition to each other. Ellipses. Keep it quiet, eh? Are you listening? Or just off and wild, then? <laughs> the clash between the two happens within your psyche and shapes your life. Let me give you an example so that you might understand a little better. Say a persona wants to contribute to society and lives a life with a persona as an unselfish person. For example, a policeman or a teacher. That's easy enough to imagine, right? That person, using the media, ignores his persona, started living a reasonable life, making compromises with society. I'm a teacher, so I should live like this. That man's a police officer, so he's that type of person. If we know a person's role, it makes interacting with him go much more smoothly. Shut Like the smoothness of that nurse's buttocks, if you know what I mean. High five, renegade. A what? Girlfriend? Loser. Anyways, in this way, your persona helps support your social life, and making it easier for others to relate to you. Yeah. That's right. You don't have friends because you're good at talking to people. You have friends because your persona is. So thank your persona, or, or you'll never have any friends ever again. Ungrateful jerks. The persona seems useful enough, but in that usefulness lies several traps. And I'm not talking about trap cards. I'm talking about dude look like a lady, or lady look like a dude. Donning the mask of the persona also means the suppression of one's own ego. If the mask does not fit you, your mind will weaken, and it can have detrimental effects on your health. Wearing a mask that doesn't fit becomes a burden on you. Also, spending too much time in your role can cause you to lose sight of your true self. What is the true self? That's like, you know, I, when do you ever show your true self? I mean, even when you're alone with yourself. Maybe that's it, though. Like, you, when you're with too many people too often, you lose your true self because you're always other selves. But then even when you're with yourself, are you your true self? That's like, I wonder this stuff, like, is there a true self? Are they all together your true self? Like, all the different roles make up your true self. But what would it look like if you put all the roles together? Interesting. Uh, it's things I wonder about. For example, as a subject dons the mask of a teacher, begins to act as one outside of school, and even at home. I know, that's why my wife and kid left me, that's why I have to hit on that nerve. This becomes an instance of a person who has been taken over by his persona. Oh, by the way, my life was totally the nurse and the devil chick, and that's why she left me, and that's all it's relating! <laughs> like, he could get the devil chick. Okay. Uh, what did you just say, Renegade? So, while well, the persona is useful in life... Is he talking to me, or is he talking to the character? Who can say? There's the danger of it weakening your mind, or overtaking it altogether. It's said that the ideal relationship between ego and persona is one where the ego controls the persona. Having multiple personas and using them massively leads to a rich life. You should all begin seeking, sir, seek, seeking, uh, 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 you be a seeker from Harry Potter and live your lives with many choices. 
Now then, it looks like our time is up. I guess I should remove my mask as a lecturer, huh? <laughs> and now, time to put on my mask as a, as a, as a lurker. <laughs> That's right. I'm the stalker. I'm the killer. Wouldn't that be a crazy plot twist? Mr. Edogaw was the killer. That would be crazy. I would love it. I would love it. <laughs> I don't know. Now that we know he's actually a character in the game and not just some fourth wall breaker, um, like, it's possible. Like, I didn't even consider that before, but now he's a real character in the game. So it might be a thing. That would be crazy. I would love it. He hates his class so much, he's sick of all the shitheads, all the Timothys, that he goes and kills people because he's sick of dealing with all the Timothys. But, but I'm not that bad! No, not you, Timothy. It's that Timothy, and that Timothy, and that Timothy. But mainly you, Timothy! Ah! Yeah. You see what I mean? Anyways. <laughs> oh, what's up with you, girl? My sister shouted at me. She said, why didn't you pick the same snack as me? What's so wrong about uh, me liking cookies? Yes? You need to figure out what the first snack she thinks of is without obtaining the experience. Oh, right. I didn't want to phrase the question. Name a snack. Name a sweet. What's brown and sweet? Um, name a snack. Name a sweet. Um, what's brown and sweet? Gave her a hint. Something brown and sweet? Hmm. Brown sugar? Chocolate? I wasn't thinking of that at all. Did what you were asked. Now you need to report the results. Okie dokie. Let's do it. Let's get to it, Arkachoki! Automadoki! Automaloki! Loki! You're such a Loki! You're such a Yosuke! Oh, what if it. Oh, that's gonna be weird. What if I keep using that in my current LP that I'll be uploading before I even get to this part? I'll be like, where did that come from? You'll know where it came from. Well, maybe you won't. But now, oh, this is the origin story! If I keep using it in my current LPs, this is where it came from! Aha! Uh, it'll be like watching Z and then Dragon Ball. That's why Yo Yamcha sucks. Okay, I don't know. Um, Yamcha was actually cool in Dragon Ball. But, meh. Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't know if I showed this on screen, but I looked around. Uh, before I ended the session last time, I looked around um, to see what my options were. And she is an option, but oh, But there's so many other people I want to do. Uh, like, Rise is a big one. Uh, Mary is already at 8. I think I'm going to leave her. I don't want to finish her yet. Um, and then, was Kanji available? Kanji is available. Okay, is Reset at 5 or 6? If Reset's at 5, I think I want to do another Reset. Uh, Reset's at 6 already. Alright, I'll do Kanji. Kanji, my main man! Mainer than Yosuke. Yo, Senpai, what you doing here? Oh yeah, how's she doing? That girl, I mean, Mary, Mary, whatever it was. Nah, I ain't worried about her or nothing. She just seemed like someone you can't leave on her own. Hey, hey, don't get the wrong idea. I ain't interested in a brat like her, okay? I mean, I'm not interested in guys either. I mean, I mean, I... I, I yeah. <sighs> Kanji has stopped working. Well, uh, tell her I said hi. Now you can only use Katakana. <laughs> uh, Kanji has upgraded to... There's another one, isn't there? There's Kanji, Katakana, and then there's... Uh, Hiranaga? No. What's the third one? I don't remember. Hiragana? It might be Hiragana. Anyways, tell her I said hi, and that she ought to come uh, along the next time we go get together. Uh, convenient that you didn't ask me to talk with him yet, actually, because I just remembered. I have bugs to catch! My favorite pastime! Bugs! Do, do, boo, do, do! Alright, let's see if I can catch a Caterpie! Involve him in a Butterfree, just like the Animo! Ah oh, shit, I'm playing the wrong version to catch a bug to catch a bugger free. I only got a wheel. Fuck. Although, I believe Beecho has a mega form, right? But I don't think Butterfree does. So you still only catch one when you fuck up. That's acceptable. <laughs> you leveled up with Kanji. Gross! Mm. It's only gross because it's you. Yeah. I'm kidding. It's not as gross as Yosuke. <laughs> Yosuke's a Yosuke. Okay, sorry. Uh, since you have, yeah, you feel this ship is it better. I'm only at level one. Yeah. Sweet. Time to go wild. Ooh, straight to Aya. I think uh, Chie would like this. But anyways, 
You came here at Kanji's request. <laughs> Man, I'm starting for some Chinese. What, you can't have some Cantonese? Because <laughs> you're. Oh. If I eat and then go home, I can't finish mom's food. She serves so much, you'd think I have five brothers. Just trying to make my stomach burst. With juices? Ooh, you know what I mean. Aren't you Kanji Tatsumi? What are you doing here? Oh. Oh, are you just some guy who doesn't like him? Can't you tell? I'm eating, you prick! You're a cop! What do you mean, what am I doing? And that's what I said, there's been quite a commotion around here lately. Are you the killer? Fuck you, I'm not the killer! Maybe if you did your job, things get quiet. This is just making me think of the main plot and how it would be so much easier if we helped him do our job at- <laughs> Renegade.exe has stopped working. You need to fix that attitude. Oh, well, uh, just don't pull anything, got it? I didn't. Actually, in a way, he did. Although, we all did, but... Mm. I'm gonna eat somewhere else. What a dick. Un until he finds out the truth, and then he's not as much of a dick, and we're the dickier. We're the dickiest dicks. Let's... let's bone! And I mean, what? Asshole. Cops always like that. As soon as they spot me, it's... What are you doing? You look suspicious, and all that bullshit. Man, I'm used to it. Sorry for getting you mixed up in this, senpai. I really am just a troublemaker, for you and for mom. She's always apologizing for me. She's been spouting more and more white hairs. Apologize to her. You just need to change. Uh, that's what kids do. Um. Uh. I don't want to call him a kid. You just need to change? Yeah, huh? Kanji's nodding earnestly. Okay, yeah. That was a bit of a weird one. Normally I wouldn't have picked that, but the other options seemed worse, so... Filial piety, right? I don't really know what to do. Or so I thought. Uh, if that's a phrase in another language, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna use this power I got to make this town peaceful. I've been causing nothing but trouble, but now I can finally return the favor. By causing more trouble because you're not telling the cops. Good plan! Let's get to it, senpai! Feel Kanji's enthusiasm. Feel you understand Kanji even more. Now nah, I don't blame Kanji. I, I do mostly blame Yosuke. I feel like he's the instigator. Granted, a lot of us should have brought up, yeah, we should probably do it, but Kanji, I feel, is the least at fault because he normally doesn't go with the cops anyways, so... Like, if anybody's gonna tell him, it's not gonna be Kanji. Anyways, Kanji's growth of ours affects his persona as well. Dizzy boost. What does that do? Uh, what does it do? Increases odds of inflicting dizziness during a knockdown. Zionga, Mazio, Kill Rush, Fatal End. That's Fatal End's kind of useless, right? Yeah, just keep cool attack. Increase one on his defense. Restores two percent. Elect boost. Yeah, get rid of uh, Fatal End because I just need cruel attack. Cool, cool. Hey, chief, food ready yet? Ah! Oh! Ah! Yeah! You ordered something, Kanchan? I told you not to call me Kanchan, and I did order liver leek stir fry and pot stickers. Stickers? That's a food? Oh, uh, don't you want? Do you not want something edible? Ah! Yeah. I'm gonna tear your store apart so fast you won't have time to file for insurance. This is why people get a bit mad at you, Kanji. Oh well, well. I'm gonna tear it apart and rebuild it twice as good. I'm gonna renovate your ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. I like it. Sounds good to me. All right, let's go. You went home after eating it. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Kanji. Decided to work part-time washing dishes. Oh, look at the roses on the counter. Are those always there? Sound like I watched the pile of dishes. Hey, I see you, guy with the hat. Watch my ass. Eyes on your food, not on my butt. Diligence increased. Cool, cool. Let's see, you finished washing dishes, so you should take care of the empty glasses. Alright, the seemingly brave old mans, the intelligent looking workers, the talkative mans, the grumbling young mans. I kind of want to see what's up with Naoto. So, intelligent? Talkative would probably give me expression. Grumbling would give me... I'm not sure. I mean, I have plenty of boner points. I'm sure I need more at some point, but... For now, I can just get it when I get it. Let's, let's, let's aim for what I know is right in front of my face. Yeah, I haven't needed any boner points in a long time. I haven't called it boner points in a long time. 
When you go to clear the intelligent looking with the glass, he begins speaking quietly. You got a lecture on some difficult material from him. Hooray! So I got my knowledge anyways. You earn 2,000 yen. You pop out enough patch on today that you receive a bonus on top of your pay. And obtain 2,000 yen. Cool, cool. Oh, who wants to hang out today? Who's on my friend list today? Oh, oh it's, look, it's a Yosuke. All right. Word up, Renegade. Want to hang out later? No. I hope you all enjoyed the school trip. Mm -hmm. Don't you all feel just a bit more mature now that you visited an urban area like that? Oh, by the way, that cute bear that Renegade could have had on the trip. It was really adorable. If you, uh, give it to me, Renegade, I'll give something to you. <laughs> I get so tempted by animals with such unique designs. Speaking of bears, their friends, the pandas, are also really cute. Do you know what they used to be called in Japanese? They were called black and white bears and divided color bears, a perfect description of how they look. So, the mixed color is so exotic yet so delightful. Oh. To do some exotic things to become adults, anyways. <laughs> Yummy. You listen to the lecture intently. Knowledge. Indeed. Lots of auto knowledge segments I've noticed. That's it for today. Have the incidents finally been resolved? No. All right. Uh, what can we do? Uh, she's gone. The girl you talked to was gone. What happened? I gotta go to college and get a job. But the colleges around here aren't very good. If I get a job first, then where would I get get one? Juness? Huh, it's not too late. I'll try to get closer to Yosuke. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> she wants to hang out with Yo- Okay, sorry. Okay, um... Good for Yosuke, maybe you can get a generic girl. Uh, there's Chie again, but I don't really need to do her at the moment. Oh, Aqua Girl's teary-eyed. Your lesson didn't work. I just- Tired, uh, tried starting up a cheerful conversation with a girl in my class, but I got nervous all of a sudden. I said something I wasn't even thinking. Move aside, ugly. I'm coming through. What should I do? She just started crying. Apologize to her. You need to transfer out. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Apologize to her. Your current courage allows you to give a passionate speech about courage. Ha ha! My boner points coming in handy. You introduce, uh, you instructed her about the social importance of having the courage to apologize for your mistakes. Indeed. You're right. I'll apologize to her. Hurting others without apologizing is selfish and cowardly. I'll go apologize. Maybe after I do, I can try and have a real conversation with her. I can't keep using my bad conversation skills as an excuse. I'll do my best. Awkward girl appears to have broken through the fear that was studying her social growth. You accomplished your quest. Oh, I can hang with the fox finally. Indeed. I wish I was better at speaking. Chie. Chie must resist the urge to Chie! Alright. Oh, that's right. I still have to deal with this mofo. Oh, it's you again? You're looking for payback? Is that a challenge? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking. Get loose. Skateboard, go kart, egg time, alarm clock. Protractor is group A. And I believe it was human motion. Booyah, you rock the nation with your des deserta dissertation on categorization. Any chucklehead could see that their oh, items are commonly or climbing can't lunge you from a human. No victory dance yet, because I'm going to hit you with the peace side. Here comes the next one. Uh, we're, well, letting the other group go to voice now. Group B? You know what's up, so tell me what the deal is there to like this for me. Um... I think I tried this and that didn't do anything. It's not syllables, so they're indefinite articles. Boom though, you got them both. That's two riddles in a row, so you're also on fire. Dag yo, that's impressive, even though I should probably just expect a wonder kind like you to have no problembo. So you saw that gorilla has three syllables, but he was in group A, so it had to be that group B all used ah. What? Group B all used on? Is that true? No, it's not. A beater doesn't... What? That's not true. Elephant had it, and avalanche had it, but egg beater? There's no on in there. You freaking liar. But most definitely knowing your definite article used to cheer some fat loose loot just for you. It's not so. Oh, it was only two riddles. Okay. Well, alright, I got some snuff so. 
I'm gonna sniff it so hard. Okay. Heartbeat, you want to beat your heart. Beat your heart out, Wabiske. Ooh, a Yumi. Hmm, I might do a Yumi. Uh oh. A boy's here again. He must really want to see me. Younger boy, and he's definitely out of my link, though. Still, he's trying so hard. I almost feel sorry for him. Oh, yeah. Boy, look, I see girls. Girls, the more girls. School is heaven. There's a certain freshness you don't find at Juness. Every day is great indeed. By the way, between sailor uniforms and blazers, which is more your speed? Um, I'm more into boys' uniforms. My, that didn't even cross my mind. A lovely girl just in a manly uniform. I, I meant for me. That's my senpai. Always with the ideas that the common man would never consider. <laughs> uniforms are awesome. I, uh, it, mm, oh, gosh. I've asked everyone, but they all say that normally people can't perform telepathy. But I think if they're twins, I might be able to do it. Oh, you're back. How is it? Did she get it? What? Gave her a hint? No, that's not okay. But if she asked for a hint, that basically means that she didn't get my message telepathy. Telepath telepathically, huh? Well, thanks for helping. It's a token of my appreciation. Do uh, Dokudami T times 5. Mm, did I do something wrong? Maybe I'll try again sometime. You helped out the daycare center. Huh? Yukon? You don't know who Phoenix Ranger Featherman are? Yukon? Wait, did he just say my name? <laughs> We're both named you? No, I named you with only one you. That's confusing. Phoenix Ranger Featherman are. What? You suck! Wow, what a jerk! Well, I dare you to say that again! Yukon's gonna get us! Run, everyone! <sighs> Yuta chases his friends as face turns red. Uh, is that playful? Really? For kids? Once again, the children tug at you from all directions. Understanding. Alright. It's not saintly yet, is it? Yukon, let's go home. It's getting late. Akio, we're going home. Oh. 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 The man. Oh, no. The other man. When's he coming back? Huh? You mean your father? I don't know yet. I'm going home with Ryu Kun. What a brat. <sighs> I guess he wants to see his father. Yeah, you can't blame him. Uh, probably. Even if he goes home, he'll be alone with me, right? <laughs> I'm just a stranger who barged into his life six months ago, so I feel a bit sorry for him. Harry smiling wryly. My husband kind of set me up. He only told me he had a child right before we got married. Wow, dick move. But I thought he was the one for me, so I figured the three of us would be able to work it all out. And then he went and ran off somewhere? Uh, right after we got married, he was sent to China on business. Oh, I see. Was that beyond his control? He keeps in contact with me, but it doesn't change the fact that he's not here. He's so inconsiderate. Uh, do you love Yuta? Um, do you love your husband? Huh? I don't know. When I married him, I thought he was the one. But I'm not so sure anymore. Even so, that's no reason to get a divorce, right? Harry sounds pretty emotionally detached from the situation. Maybe I rushed into marriage too quickly. When he told me I wouldn't have to work, I thought it'd be a good idea, but... <laughs> don't tell my husband, okay? <laughs> when he told you you wouldn't have to work? Oh. Housewife to the max! Harry's smiling, but you can't tell if it's genuine. I feel like you understand Harry a bit more, even though you can't tell if her smile is genuine, so you don't understand there that much more. Young Mother! Young Mother social link has reached level 3! Power to create personas of the Temperance has grown! I wonder if he is home by now. I better be going now too. It was nice seeing you. Uh, if he can be home that quickly, then you're not- you don't live very far from here. Anyways, he finished the job and went home. 6,000! Alright. I'm gonna have to sell a bunch of stuff now. Oh, oh. oh? Good evening, and welcome to Nightline's special Night Watch report. Don't you dare screw me out of getting the thing. I'll be so mad at you. A suspect in the murders in Inaba was safely arrested recently. And? But what few people know is that the mastermind who brought him to justice was a high school detective. Oh shit! Was Nato the one that pinpointed him? Interesting. 
Tonight's report will focus on this Detective Prince, Naoto Shirogane, whose handsome looks are sweeping the nation. You mean whose super bashonen looks? Seriously, is it really a guy? <laughs> Take your hat off! Thanks for being on the show. No, no. The pleasure is all mine. Well, well. Naoto is on TV. His uniform is the same as yours. Is it? I haven't worn that uniform in a long time. Um, yeah. First, congratulations to you and the police for your recent arrest of the culprit. Yeah, because they did it all on themselves. Although, they didn't know any better. It was well known that there were a lot of mysteries surrounding this case. And you did a great job clearing them up. He couldn't have cleared them all up. I'd hesitate to say that the matter is cleared up as such. Indeed. Actually, it could be, if you didn't think what, what Yukiko said was bullshit, because it was the truth. It's true that our suspect was behind Mr. Moraoka's unfortunate death. But only Moraoka's, so that's the direction they're going. Okay. But when I cast my eye over the case as a whole, I detect a few things that seem out of place. So he still killed Moraoka, huh? Hmm. Well, I knew he was fucked up. Oh? Like what? Unfortunately, I cannot divulge details at this time. Interesting or interesting -er. But this matter claimed the lives of three people. Hence, I believe even the smallest inconsistency must be investigated. You know what would help them clear up those inconsistencies? I... I see. I have to say, this is a surprise in light of the police's official statement. <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. Fuck the police! Now for our next segment, The Detective Prince's True Identity, where Nato-kun tells us a little bit about himself. Are you a girl? Amazingly, The Detective Prince has solved a whopping 24 cases. 16 of them were... Nobody uh, lets people take you seriously if you're a girl, which is why you pretend to be a guy. Is that it? I could totally see that being it. There's a detective at your school? Yeah, he totally looks like a girl. When I'm older, I'm gonna go to your school, too. He's prettier than you, Nanako. That's how pretty he is. The breezy uh, evening passes. Without giving me a chance to go on the freaking thing? Are you kid? I better have a chance today. I better have a freaking chance. Hi, Senpai. Hi, Rise. Hi, Chie. Hi, Yukiko. Hi, Yosuke. Yo. Yo. Did you see the show on TV last night? Naoto Kun was on. Indeed. And he solved the case all on his own, did you hear? That thing about the detective prince solving the case? Come on, we're the ones who actually caught the killer. You know, maybe if we said something to the freaking butcher. But the police were the ones who identified the suspect, and he was cooperating with them on it, right? Yeah, there's that word, cooperating. Doesn't exist in our vocabulary. So it's true that he helped solve the case. And uh, he did a pretty good job considering we didn't tell anybody jack shit about anything. I'm kind of surprised though. That they figured it out without our help? I didn't think he was the type to go after the spotlight like that. Oh yeah, we're so much better. We don't care about the spotlight at all. That's why we uh, have fun going into these things and being all hero-like and being like, yeah, this is awesome. Oh, we don't want the spotlight though. Good morning. Hello, Naoto. You weren't overhearing us just now, were you? I mean, I, 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 you're pretty. I've been waiting for you all. There's something I needed to discuss with you regarding the case. We're innocent. I plead guilty. Yosuke did it. He's a Yosuke. Discuss? Dude, we'll be late if we talk too long. Hey, where's your uniform? Doesn't want it. Could you please indulge my current theory on the matter? We didn't do it. What is it? Yosuke did it! First, as regards commonalities between the victims, all of them were kidnapped before they were murdered. Yes. The victims were all locals who had been the focus of recent media attention, becoming suddenly well-known. Indeed! That is the most likely scenario. And yet, Moroka does not fall into those patterns. I don't believe there's anything intrinsically unique about the victims themselves. Correct. Haven't you all come to the same conclusion? Yes. Um, <laughs> I plead the fifth. 
you know what? They're giving me a chance to be honest. I'm being freaking honest. Then allow me to state my point. Will you admit that a number of you fit these identical circumstances? What? There was a long interval between the second and third deaths in this case. Indeed. But after I applied the aforementioned criteria, I discovered several similar disappearances had taken place. This is true? Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Risei Kujikawa. All of you disappeared shortly after being shown on TV. Indeed they did. Either you escaped death somehow, or you faked your own disappearances in order to divert attention from yourselves. But that'd be kind of pretty coincidental if they all did that. Unless they were all in on it. Since some of you had ties to the victims, there came a point where I suspected one of you must be the culprit. Understandable. You thought one of us was the killer? Oh, you can't be serious. You know what? I get that this is in your character bringing that up, but... I mean, how is he supposed to know? I don't know. I like that... I have a very detective point of view on this kind of thing as well. Like, you can't trust anybody. It could be anybody. It could be someone that's related to you by blood. You don't know? This was a prior theory, since discarded. Yeah, now he has a new theory. Putting together everything I've learned until this moment, I believe exactly the opposite. And yet, you still didn't buy Yukiko's story. I mean, she was drunk, so she could have been spreading nonsense, but... Yeah. You aren't the culprits. You may, in fact, be the only ones with the means to pursue the true perpetrator. Please ask us why we haven't told the police anything. Please ask us. Please ask us. Which begs the question, if this is true, how come you've not come forward to the police? Say that. Say something like that. I will love you forever, Naoto, in a... Maybe gay way if you're actually a guy, or maybe straight way if you're not a guy, but I will also- Oh, that will get rid of my biggest problem with this game. Seen as a joining of forces between the rescued, everything falls into place. Indeed it does. Of course, this is all speculation. And it's very spot on. I like Naoto. I'm liking him slash her. There is in fact a flaw in the theory. It doesn't account for the third incident. Mr. Moraoka's murder. Because his was separate and was only performed, that was the only one performed by What's His Face, by, by uh, Tite Kubo's uh, estranged brother. He has never been broadcast on television, and neither did he ever disappear. We must also consider the condition of his corpse. Indeed. The first two victims are still listed with an unknown cause of death. Aha. Uh -huh. But Mr. Moraoka died of an easily identifiable blunt force trauma to the occipital cranium. Ooh, fancy words. I like them. The police have not satisfactorily resolved this discrepancy, yet they are desperate to close the case. Attempting to close it, though, will be stupid. Victims will show up. More will. The killer's not going to stop just because they think they got away with the first two. They had a purpose, and I'm sure they're not done. Further action will be necessary to obtain some sort of decisive evidence. You know what can help you with that decisive evidence? Further action? What do you mean? Well, whatever the outcome, the evidence should come to light. It would if we helped! You said something interesting to me not long ago. What did I say? Hey, where are you going? This is not a game for me either. Oh, yeah, that, that little speech. Yeah. I mean, it can still be a game. You can still want to have solve the truth, but still find it entertaining. I know in Case Closed, um, uh, uh, Conan slash Jimmy slash Shinichi hates it whenever somebody dies, but he can't help enjoying solving the mystery. People die. Cases happen. It sucks, and you have to deal with it, but you can still enjoy solving it. I mean... You're not a terrible person just because you enjoy solving a case. Um, I mean, that was kind of a—that's kind of an ongoing thing with Shinichi's character. People's like, "Why do you enjoy this? It's, he's a dead corpse. Screw you!" And he's—I don't know. But um, I can understand it. I can understand the idea. I enjoy solving things in video games, so I can understand the idea of someone enjoying solving a murder case. I can also understand the idea of someone being like, "What the frick is wrong with you? There, there. It's a murder case." But I can understand both points of view. Um, so yeah. 
the Renegade, sorry, going to practice, uh, is going to become closer soon. Uh, okay, sure, go to practice. Okay, let's go. Conods. I don't like Ko feeling sad. Get better, Ko. Yes, go me high gym. You can basketball practice. Diligence increased. Cool, cool. Ko doesn't look very motivated. Yo. Sup, guys? Want to grab some grub on the way home? Huh? Oh, is practice over already? Mine? Yeah, they're just cleaning up. No, mine. It's over, isn't it? I gotta go home. He doesn't want to go home. Renegade, what's his problem? Is he sick or something? You could say that. It's something else. Hmm. Something else? What's wrong? You know, I'm pretty short for a basketball play. For a basketball? Basketball, yeah! I guess. Has its advantages. I always get to ki uh, uh, kick out of driving right past all the tall guys. It makes me feel good. Like it's something I can do and no one else can. Not my grandma, not my sister. It's all me. What's the point? Who cares about how hard I train? It's not like we ever play any real games. It's totally worthless. It has no meaning whatsoever. Yo, are you serious, man? Ooh. Dice case getting angry. I'm out later. What's up with him? Tell Dice Cave I like told you on the rooftop. Gotta be kidding! You should be celebrating that they let him play, not sulking. What? Aww. Damn it, I don't get any of this! What, the fact that he told me and not you? <laughs> Even though you're butt buddies? Hang on. He said it was pointless, right? Because they don't play any real games? You gotta play some real games then. Well then, why don't we give him a real match? Sitting around here thinking about it won't do crap. We gotta take action. Oh yeah, I like Dice Gay's way of thinking. Right? You're right, a real game? Impossible. We gotta save a cup. Um, you're right. All right. That's what I'm talking about. If it's a game he wants, a game he'll get. Are we gonna do like some kind of basketball soccer mashup? Or can you do basketball too, or what? This case pumped up. Anyway, where do we start with setting up a real game? I got an idea. Hey, you! Oh? Sup, Daisuke? Just switch over to the basketball team or something? <laughs> yeah, right. Listen to this. You guys are gonna have a real game. So pick a day and a team to play against. What? No way! Yes way, and if you don't play, I'll tell the teachers about all the homework you're always copying. Haha. <laughs> That's low, man. <laughs> Shut up. You better be ready, too. It's gonna happen soon. You got that soon. Or whenever I get around to the next free time event. This is... It could be a while. Who knows? Soon or maybe a while. Not some dirt on some of the other guys, too. So we should have no problem getting together a full team. Wow, that's... Wow. <laughs> Blackmail for justice! Yay? <laughs> Um, you're quite a strategist. Isn't that blackmail? What about yourself? <laughs> you're quite a strategist. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> Those dice gay laughs. If we come up short, I'll play too. I don't really know the rules, but whatever, right? <laughs> it's fun, that counts. You really don't know the rules of basketball? Well, I mean, maybe you don't know all the specifics. I could get that. Dice gay laughs, but I'm sure you know the general rules. Anyways, you do plan a match for Kosek. I feel the relationship has grown stronger. Your relationship with the butt buddies. Oh boy, basket butt! I can't wait for some more basket butt. Yeah, I like the fellow athletes. I like them. I really do. I just feel so, like, sad that Ko's all depressed. But, yeah, I want to keep going just to get him past the depressed state. Alright, next practice will be a real scrimmage. I'm gonna go recruit more people. Catch you later, man. <laughs> recruit. It's like Fire Emblem. See ya. Why do you look sad, Nanakers? Look at that face, that's such a sad face. It doesn't fit your happy expression at all. It's gonna rain tomorrow, I was gonna do laundry. Oh, Nanakers is sad. Uh, okay, yeah. 
So Dojima, I'm still plot blocked. Non occurs. Uh, can't do anything with. So is it raining for several days? Uh, yeah, okay. Um, oh! Oh, oh, TV, 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 TV! Yeah, that's right, I always just waste time watching TV. Ah, oh, have I ever sung such a racist song before? Can you even call it a song? It's just me going, ah, bye, la, 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 la. Yeah. All right. What are you doing? On my way home from supplementary lessons. How much more lame can a day get? Nothing but endless classes. I don't feel like going home yet, so spend some time with me. Uh, so you have Andra? Yes. Of course. Of course you do. Cool, cool. Ugh. Hotel we stayed in for the school trip was horrible. The beds would suddenly spin and the pink lights, how tacky. And when I walked the halls at night, this big round red thing was walking around. <laughs> teddy. I'm positive that hotel is haunted. The curse of the teddy. Are you sure you really saw that? It's the ghost of a bear. I'm sorry. Um, ghost of a bear. Huh? Why specifically a bear? And bears aren't red, though they could be roundish. Eyes immersed in thought. There were so many be uh, boring things about it, like studying and field trips. But it, I was able to go to a store I wanted to, so I guess it wasn't all that horrible. <laughs> She's such a bitch. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I don't know. You and I got better acquainted over small talk. Your relationship is growing stronger. I don't know. Hey. Pretty late. We should go home. Oh yeah, I got something for you. I'm giving this to you. Well, thank you. Just uh, thank you for today, cause you were here. Oh, I wasn't bored. Would you mind walking me home? Sure. Good night. <laughs>